Hello everybody. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've waited a lifetime for this moment. So I'm going to introduce you to something that's incredibly new and exciting. Um, it's coming to you a little bit earlier than I actually anticipated, so it's crazy. I don't think I'll get any sleep at all tonight or tomorrow. But um, this is all about Two Bed Robins. So it's a brand that, well, many of you know that years ago, my husband and I, and, oh, that sounds very posh, doesn't it? Um, Carl and I and my sister and my brother and everybody all worked together as a family business. And then things changed and I stayed on at Create and Craft and I've been part of the team there. And I'm not leaving Create and Craft completely, by the way. But what I am going to do is I'm going to work with Carl again and Zoe's going to work a little bit with me as well. And I'm just so, my brother's still doing his Carnation Crafts thing and they're all doing great. And thank you to everybody who supports them. But I feel like I'm sort of, I'm getting ready for one more challenge in my life and it's really strange because I was thinking about it looking out the window and these little robins keep coming to the garden and I'm quite a spiritual person and I, and I really believe that you know they can be a little message from loved ones or um, they're there to make you smile make your day feel good and I was sat there thinking, do you know, I really, really do think I want one more go at building a brand. So I talked to Carl about it and he said, do you know what I'm going to do? He said, I'll, I'll join you. I'll give up my job. We'll do it together. We'll pack the orders. We'll do all the things that we need to do. Let's start again from the beginning. That's exactly what we're doing. So I'm introducing you to two Red Robins. Well, in fact, with this launch, there are actually three of them. So I've got Pip, Buddy and Scuttle and they're the cutest things but what I've done that's made this different is it's very different to Tattered Lace. So this is like my version of what the next level of my kind of crafting is. I'm going to show you some boards because I'm just honestly this is so exciting. So first of all one of the things that we're doing here is you're going to get dies like these now this one or actually the packaging's got a bit wonky but so this is one of them and this is a forgotten fence and these are all the different fences and then they're all nested like this so it looks like this so this is what a forgotten fence looks like lots of different fence sizes everything's got charisma but we're actually going to call it reflections that's our version of it and you'll find all of this this will be available to download on the highlight crafts um website but the idea is that you can take these and create different scenes now each each set of dies that i bring out is going to be a chapter in a storybook and you can skip chapters you can go forwards and backwards but I want you to, I'm going to talk to you and I can't wait because we're launching this at 12 o'clock on Friday now. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about how every single die is really going to earn its place in your craft room. So these are our forgotten fences. These are fence posts. And then these up here are all the nails and the screws. And then I want to show you this. So these are like some of the different configurations you could make. So fences, you could do them in perspective. You can have them broken down, fallen down. Oh, and I've got this barbed wire die, which I just absolutely love. And then this is actually the chain link fence. And then I'm just going to show you some more. So then look how many different ways that you can use this. So it can have fallen logs. I can have branches. I can add greenery into it. I can have the robin sitting on it. I can do it as if it's in a field because this is all called Field of Dreams. And so we've got the nested logs and or fences and then I've got nested buckets as well. So imagine that those buckets are actually all from one set of dies. So I'm just going to show you what my dies actually look like because this is the bit that see look there's all my fence posts they're actually nested look how many different sizes you get and they're not all identical purposely made some of them cut away so you've got different elements of it um oh i'm just going to show you this is my old tap i've got an old worn tap in fact i'm going to show you there <laughs> just i mean it's magical the way that you can add elements together and create stories so this is just the best kind of storytelling. And um, buckets, look at these buckets. So we go from tiny 
to quite large. So the large ones, they actually become the card front. So we've got card fronts in here. I can't wait to show you how many different ways that there are gonna be of using it. So I'm gonna talk through some of the finished samples and then I, I just wanna thank everybody for all your kind comments so far. They have been amazing. And I've had some old colleagues in the craft industry contacting me. I've had some people asking if they can, is there anything they can do to join in? Do you know, I'm just excited about this new chapter and this new journey because I do believe it is gonna be quite fabulous. And with these little robins watching over, it feels like something special is happening. So let's take a look at some of the different things that we've got. So, I mean, because I've now got the weekender, I'm gonna be able to, I've got five shows. So can you imagine how many demos I'm gonna be able to get in? So I've got the fence posts layered up on top of each other so you can see the dimension in it. And you can see how you sort of like the bark just almost, it almost becomes like it's round. It's the illusion of that roundness of the bark. And then this is the blossom and you're getting two colorways of reflections for this one. And of course you can do something that's as simple as this where the blossom comes around the aperture. But what about this? Clever card making, but clever card making that's quick and easy and elegant. So there's the post and that barbed wire, it isn't actually printed on the background. It is actually layered over the top of it. Now, um, the backgrounds, they're also there and you've got those as downloads as well. Look at this one. How you've got the posts there, the robins there, you've got the foliage, of course, that's included. Oh, and I want to give you a little sneaky peek because you're going to get the chance to forward order this. Now, I know if we do sell out a forward order, we'll have to go to extended leave. The forward order is quite a short time to wait. But um, I'm going to let you know, if you're in a member of the club, because everybody's going to be going, how much is it? If you're a member of the club, then can you hear that rain, guys? Oh my God, it's absolutely, it's pouring down. But this is perfect crafting weather. I'm going to be, it's going to be a late night tonight. I'm going to be working late. Um, you're going to save over £55. The club price comes down from £169 to £116. There's a few pennies on it. And that means that the flexi pay is 29 pounds and 22 pence. So 22 pounds and, sorry, 29 pounds 22 is your flexi. That is actually the freestanding card because those nested buckets are designed to be card shapes. They're designed to be all of those things. Look at the fence panels. Look at this. See how just, fabulous it is you've got water drips with the tap and these are things that over the years I've just collected pictures of the places I've walked places I've seen and just got really excited about the different opportunities I'm just going to show you um, a couple more in fact let me just reach them because I've got them on here so I'm just going to take this one and this one and this one here. So I'm having, I've had to come into this little room because my craft room's being renovated at the moment and it's not quite finished, but it will be soon. So we're going back to old fashioned decoupage. You're gonna print it out and cut into it. I'm gonna show you lots of snipping. Look at how the flowers are laid over the top. The buckets are layered on top of each other. So these, are, you're not buying two sets of dies, you're buying one set of die where they're all nested inside each other. This one, where you've got that lovely chain link fence at the back. Then we've got here the forgotten ferns and then the little robin. Then here's another one. Again, this is, the, this is a fabulous design. Now I'd like you to think about this. Imagine that this isn't floral, but it's holly. He now works for Christmas. Imagine that we don't have the flowers here, we've got berries, and we, we put glitter on to make it look like frost. This becomes winter. So we have got, I'm gonna put 
frozen buckets, winter scenes, this is actually going to become part of a winter collection as well. So I'm actually really excited that we've got so many different ways of using it. So I've got a few demos here lined up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this little lot to one side. Um, oh, by the way, the other thing is everybody, I've gone for, for minimal packaging because I am trying to be so environmentally friendly. I just want, yes, we've got our cardstock, of course you'd expect that, but I just want us, and you're going to see what the, the, um, the reflections looks like on the front of the packaging but we are going to absolutely minimal packaging. I'm not interested in trying to make the packaging look sexy. I want us to try and save as much paper and card as we can so that we can be as environmentally friendly as possible. So I'm just gonna pop those out of the way. And everything's available individually. I thought we had got loads and loads and loads of stock, but so many of you have registered on the websites on Facebook and I've had so many personal messages that I just want to share with you. Bye, Kasha. Um, that's one of the girls just leaving. I just would like to share with you that when we launch, um, as soon as that price comes down, so you know where it needs to come to for it to be promo price, please don't wait, everybody, because I've, I've promoted it quite heavily. I'm very proud of it. And I think we could be quite busy. So I'm just going to show you a couple of these demos that I've got and a couple of ideas. So imagine this. So I've just brought a few in with me. So that's the charisma for all the fence posts. Actually, it's not all of it. In fact, let me show you some of the charisma. So these are fence posts. Look at how many different posts you get. All of that is from one die set. Then the robins, I've tried to put as many on the sheet as possible. And then these are some of the other robins that you can see. They're all my little robins. And then this is the um, blossom and then the ferns. And I've put, you'll see them in different directions because again, trying to cram as many on as possible. And then finally, that's the chain link fence. And it looks quite strange, doesn't it? But it, it really does work. So, this is my fence, look at this. I mean, actually, you can cut this out of Mary Card and it's really clever the way that it looks. So, what I've got here is a card that's gonna be freestanding. So basically, this is gonna be the card front. So you can see here, I'm gonna glue this piece onto here and that then creates a card front. And then using the other panels that are going to be joined up by, so if I put my chain link across here and my other panel here, I've created my card. I don't actually even need any acetate behind it. My little Robin will sit and his feet are perfectly sized to sit in there. So you can see how that's gonna come together. And then I've got the foliage, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this and hold this in one hand. And this is how easy it is to craft with this collection. Let me just get him stood up. He's got the, fabulous, the most fabulous little eyes. He actually looks like he's watching us. And let's get his paws inside there so he stands up by himself. And, and then I'm gonna hold you this up. Look at that, that is card making. And I could have this so it's freestanding with a robin inside. It's not the kind of thing you normally see when we're making cards at Create and Craft, but I hope you think it's different enough to join me on Friday at 12 o'clock. Um, massive thank you again. I've already said thank you once, but once is never enough. So I'll see you all then for the launch of Two Red Robins. And um, I hope it's just the start of a fabulous journey for all of us. Thank you, everybody.